When the critical patient, I assess the need for nutritional support, and then each day think about the type and route of administration of that nutrition. Um, once we do that, um, we'll calculate the amount of nutritional support needed. Can I start out with a full resting energy expenditure, or do I have to start slowly to avoid different types of um, complications, such as refeeding syndrome? And each day, once we calculate the amount of nutritional support, I come up with a nutrition plan. And that changes from day to day with the patient's appetite, with their ability to prehend food, as well as whether or not they're vomiting, um, and whether or not they're still on opioid drugs. I find that when I have these patients on a fentanyl constant rate infusion postoperatively, it's pretty unlikely that they're going to eat until I transition them to oral pain medications by mouth. And so one of the most important things is to reassess these patients 